What's happening, Cody? What's up, Dave? Not much. It's uh, Friday, a couple yes, days late because we were. I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Uh, June eighteenth, and this is episode one hundred and nine of Fast Times at Coke Fitness. How does it feel? Um, it is hot. Yeah, it's actually pretty terrible. Um, but next week's supposed to be nice. It feels it's like sticky right now. I don't know why. I don't think it's probably not even that humid, but it's more <laughs> it's more humid, more humid than, than usual. Used to. Does it feel weird to be talking to a guy from the future? It does. I'm officially what? one hour ahead of you at all times. What happens now? to me in one hour? Uh, fuck if <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, all right. So Let's see. Our hot topic is no masks in the gym as long as you are vaccinated. So um, if you are vaccinated and you are comfortable uh, going inside without a mask, you are welcome inside the gym without a mask. If you would like to wear a mask still, we're more than happy to welcome you in with a mask on. And if you are unvaccinated, we ask that you kindly still wear a mask for your own safety. Um, and we're just gonna leave it at that. Um, but to go with that, the gym, uh, all the stuff that's been going on outside needs to come back inside now that we are um, allowed to be inside and operate normally. Um, because we are not zoned, we don't have a conditional use permit to actually work out outside. Um, the city looked the other way during COVID on, on a lot of zoning issues, um, but they will not continue to do that forever. So now we need to operate indoors unless um, you are unvaccinated and are uncomfortable then we will make an exception for you and we will potentially change the workouts or the apparatus you're using so that you can operate outside um, quietly and safely. So um, if you've got, if there's an issue or you want to chat about it, just shoot us a note. As you guys know, we are always open to chat and we are always open to be flexible and make exceptions as needed as long as they're reasonable. So, uh, you got anything to add to that, Cody? No, that was great. Yeah, if we have guys, uh, if you guys need to um, maybe be outside for any reason, just let us know and we can talk about it. Yeah, I mean, I, I know we have a couple of pregnant members that don't have vaccines because, yeah, um, you know, they're just not comfortable and that's totally reasonable. So, um, just Speak up, let us know. If you don't want to let us know in front of the class, shoot us a text or a note and, and we'll take care of you, as always. Um, <laughs> do we have some birthdays this week, bud? Yes, we do. We got three birthdays. We have Joe Gigatino on Wednesday, June 16th. So that was uh, two, days ago. two days ago. We have Stacy on actually today, June 18th. And then we have uh, my aunt, Danette, on Monday, June 21st. I'm going to go. Um, over and celebrate her birthday with her tomorrow and then we also have a couple new members we have chris um he's going to be in the morning i met him this morning great guy uh and then we also are going to have michael um he i think is going to be more on the weekends but um if you ever see anyone that you guys don't know please introduce yourselves and there we go i think i saw a couple uh, a couple old members are coming back too <clears throat> yeah um I know that Christy's going to be coming back. She's kind of been here and there, um, spotty. Um, but I think she's going to start coming back um, a little more consistently. <clears throat> um, what about Sam? And... Sam hasn't came back yet, but I think he will be soon. Cool. But well, um, I think, yeah. When I think we get him back, to... we'll say, we'll let you guys know. So you can give him a hard time. We have a, a good amount of people going through um, some intros right now as well. So cool. there'll be more names on the list next week for sure. I love it. 
Um, <laughs> Jill let us know today that she collected all the questions from your Ask the Coaches Instagram um, post that we put up. If you have a question for the coaches that you want us to answer, it could be about anything. Um, you can still email it to her, Jill at KroagerFitness.com. Um, and she will be posting all of our answers later this week. Uh, Cody, how's that mm. accessory movement challenge going? Uh, it's going pretty good. We have a, a handful of people that will do it without me telling them. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's going pretty well. Um, some people need to be motivated. Like Richard must have Mariah Carey playing. So I'll, I'll throw some on <laughs> for him so that he'll do it. <clears throat> he almost got all two minutes the other day unbroken so well he's got 12 days left that's right it happen uh, but actually we have a lot of people doing it um after classes at least at the night classes um we were having i think yesterday we had almost everyone in the 5 30 and then on deadlift day everyone did it um so yeah i think it's going well people are getting much better at hanging love it that grip strength is improving <laughs> yeah um, this next one's super important, my friend. We are moving to a new um, member management platform. It is called Push Press. Um, so we're moving from Pike 13 to Push Press um, to help us make this happen. We're just going to need you to sign into the new software and save your credit card number um, so that we can keep everything moving smoothly. The new software will make your lives easier and our lives easier um, and not have, Pike 13 wasn't filled with issues, but we had some problems um, that were just headaches over time. And so we've decided to make a switch. Um, and as always, we're looking to improve your experience and make our, um, make help us work more efficiently in our management software so that we don't have to just waste time and we can spend more time dedicated to our members. So um, you're going to get an email on Monday asking you to sign into the new software and update your credit card information. Super simple. After that, um, there won't be much else to do. Maybe download a new app and sign in so that you can sign into class if you'd like to and see all your information. Um, and we will also have a, um, the other piece of this is push press has an actual software that we're going to put on an iPad at the gym where you can, um, purchase retail items on your own without having to like write your name on a list or type it into a Google form and, and all that jazz. It'll just be, um, a real quick, like find your name, click the product check out and it's done and you can grab it and leave. Um, so it's going to make the coaches lives easier and, and it's probably going to make your guys' lives easier because um, those will just get billed monthly. They'll be batched and then billed once a month. So um, is there anything else I missed there on push press? I don't think so. I think it's just going to be much cleaner. Yeah. It'll just be cleaner and easier for all of us. Mm. Um, we got some high fives to hand out. We do. We only have one on the digital PR board, um, but our PR what about board the one not, at the gym? It's, it's filling up pretty good. I was going to take a picture, good. but I know it's only halfway through the month, so <clears throat> there's going to be I love um, a lot more by the end. CJ got a three rep max deadlift PR at 505. That's okay. It's not bad, I guess. Um, that is insane, by the way. <laughs> I the, can't even freaking fathom that. <laughs> Hopefully one day I can do that once. A triple, holy smokes! <laughs> At two oh five, like wait, so like basically two and a half times body weight for a triple. Yeah. That's impressive. It is for someone that I can actually like do burpees and he's a strong guy. Pull up some stuff. Yeah, nice work, CJ. Yeah, we also have a uh, a ton of people that got like jerk PRs. Susie got a hundred pounds on her jerk yesterday, which I think nice, is like. Susie a 15 pound PR or something like that. Uh, we I have saw Megan of... today. She got a PR, right? Yeah, she did. She got um, 140. 140. Yep. 
And then there was, there's a ton. There's a lot of them. I know that Amea hit 215. Rocky hit 210. Um, these are all jerks. Um, yeah, Dude, Carmen. incredible because no one's lifted weights in like that in a year and a half. And, and yeah. um, what I'd like to do here is give you a pat on the back for all of the programming, creative programming over the last 15 months that has allowed people to basically not lift barbells and then PR their jerk a week or two into being in the gym again, like, or a month, right? Like that's yeah. insane, Cody. Um, it's been a lot of fun watching everybody. You deserve a little digital high five for that. <laughs> yeah. That's impressive. I've been... I've been really happy because I was a little worried <laughs> as well. Yeah. I think everyone yeah. kind of was. Um, but there's also, there was probably close to 10 deadlift PRs as well. And that's like the ultimate feat of like strength lifting right there. So it's been yeah. really awesome. That's the, you know, that's the lunges and that's the, I hate to say it, but air squats. People don't <laughs> think they pay off. Like, the, um, that's the single leg kettlebell all the kettlebell swings we we did in the last year like those are the things that you don't think about will improve your deadlift but they will um especially when you hit them hard with intensity so um you did a great job programming this last year it was yeah. hard yeah well um, <clears throat> what's the, your nutrition tip this week nutrition tip <clears throat> i uh i've had this um in my cupboard for a bit um but it's like an alternative to pasta i think some people might know about this so kind of like um how people would do like um what was it like zucchini pasta or um what is that butternut squash um pasta there's this thing yeah. at trader joe's called hearts of pump and it's like a little pasta alternative yeah. and <clears throat> this whole package right here this whole thing it's like 250 grams um in terms of weight of pasta and it only comes out to 13 grams of carbs if you did that in actual pasta it'd be like <laughs> 100 grams of carbs so um if you guys want like a pasta alternative that is like almost a tenth of the um basically calories and carbs um this is kind of one of those things that you guys can try it out. Um, it tastes pretty much the same. As soon as you throw some sauce on it, you're good to go. I love it. Um, we eat that at our house too, from time to time. Oh, awesome. we like them. Um, you got the programming summary. Yeah. So we only got um, a couple left because uh, we're a little bit late on this one, but. Oh yeah. Sorry. If you guys what do we came... got coming the rest, next couple of days? Yeah. So uh tomorrow saturday's partner workout we have a kind of like a what i like to call a pyramid chipper with uh, a friend you're going to be doing 50 ring dips 100 partner wall ball sit-ups uh, 150 calorie row and then you go back down 100 partner wall ball sit-ups and then 50 ring dips so that will be Love our it. partner workout for saturday and then on sunday um wall walks are going to make an appearance again yeah <laughs> so we are going to be doing a 10-minute AMRAP. You're going to be doing three wall walks and then one power snatch at a, a moderately heavy weight, something you can do kind of uh, slow singles with. You'll then do three wall walks and then two power snatches, three wall walks, three power snatches until 10 minutes hits. Oh, man, your shoulders are going to be on fire. Oh, yeah, it's going to be great. I love it. <laughs> and that'll be it. That'll be it for the rest cool. of the week. I love it. Um... The quote of the week this week is, if you're ever tempted to look for outside approval, realize that you have compromised your integrity. If you need a witness, be your own. This is a big one for me with fitness. Um, you know, it's nice to post on the internet that you're working out, but um, it's better to be your own witness at that and uh, and just be your own motivation. and and uh just make it happen yeah. Love it. all right question of the week cody what's your favorite gatorade flavor so this one's kind of tough 
because <clears throat> I can't quite remember it. Um, but there is, I don't know if it, it's not a normal flavor. <laughs> and I think it might have even been a like limited um, time thing. Limited edition. Yes, I think it was cucumber lime. Oh, gross. Have you ever tried? No, you never tried it? <laughs> no. It was so good. <laughs> like a if mojito. You like, <laughs> if you like um, cucumber water, this is right. This is delicious. It has just like a little hint of cucumber. And then I'm pretty sure it's lemon or lime. I mean, some guy was um, drinking mojitos all night and he was like, this would be great tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. Someone, if you guys remember what that flavor is, let me know. Um, but that oh, was my favorite wild. flavor for sure. Other than that, if I had to choose another one, ooh, fierce grape. Mm, great guy. Mm. I oh, if it's classic, fierce. I'm a classic lemon lime guy. Just ooh, old school yellow. Yeah, got to go for it. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, nostalgia, I think. Okay. And if it's not that, then the blue one that they came out. Remember that like berry, whatever. It's like a mountains or something. I don't know what they have on those things anymore. The frost. Yeah, it was like the blue frost. Yeah. You good. That one was a close second. Such delicious. All right, my friend. Good chat this week. Um, if you're listening, let us know what your favorite Gatorade flavor is and. We'll see you earlier next week, we promise. Yes, for sure. All right. All right. Have a good Have one. Have a good week. Later. Bye.